It's rough, tough, iron ore country. Yeah, the, the blokey factor is pretty high. And the blokes in Port Hedland didn't get much blokier than Lester Webb, a fishing, hunting, beer drinking larrikin who became a woman. It sounds like a bold thing to do in a town like this. I've had one negative reaction since I've been here, and that was an uh, Irish fellow, and he was quite drunk. Lester is now Lexi, a fully fledged female. Hi, guys. Morning, Lex. How are you? Good. Come through, thanks. Today, she's having her hair done. Make me look hot. <laughs> l l ladies. L l ladies. At the local salon in South Headland. And you just uh, treat her like one of, the, one of the girls? Yes, we love her here. She's definitely one of... She's family. What was life like growing up for you? Um, a little bit confusing. I knew at a very young age, didn't want to be male. Lexi was trapped in the wrong body, where females have XX chromosomes and males have XY. Genetic testing shows that Lexi has the rare XXY combination. They take 100 cells and they test them for your chromosome count. And out of 89 of my 100 tested, 89 of them were female. Lester the boy was genetically a girl, but that discovery took decades to make. I think I was in my 30s when I got my first computer and then I started doing research on uh, cross-dressing and transgender and, and uh, uh, you know, teaching myself really. Did a light bulb go off? Yeah, it did really. And it, uh, it answered a lot of questions without me having to go to a GP and feel uncomfortable about myself, you know, feel awkward. Family didn't know, friends didn't know, nobody knew the way I was feeling. Finally, at 45, Lester saw a psychologist. And this woman said to me, and you don't know what you are? And I said, look, I've got a pretty good idea, but I really need to hear this out of the mouth of a professional. And she said, Christ, you're as much of a woman as I am. Now, bloody will go out and be one. Lexi started the transition, including large doses of the female hormone oestrogen. And I came out to everybody. I just, I wasn't sacred to family. It was all family, cousins, aunties, uncles, everybody. What was their reaction? I've lost a brother out of it. He's a real man's man and thinks I made a mistake. Um, one day you might realise that it's, it's not about him, it's about me. Three years ago, Lexi flew to Bangkok for gender reassignment surgery. Oh, best thing I could have ever done. Should have done it years ago. The 56-year-old works at Coates Hire as a mechanic. I've always been interested in electricity. I like being a mechanic. So I get to play with things I like. Lester's work shirt still hangs in the staff room. Ah, oh, look, Lexi, Lexi fits in fantastic around here. Lexi's boss, Don Passmore. The fact still remains it's a blokey environment, it's a blokey, you know, town to a degree, but, um, you know, people are accepting. All that makeup I put on this morning, all gone now. Lexi's just at home fixing a generator. I love it. As she is getting made up for a night out. You've got no idea how much that tickles. There you go, Lexi. You look like a new woman. I oh, know. Good on you, darling. At six foot two, she buys her clothes online, and there are other things a girl's got to do. All men should try this at least once. Lexi's finally comfortable in her own skin. I want to do more, one more trip back to Thailand. Um, I'm going to have facial work done. It's called facial feminisation surgery, and they remove all the male features out of your face. Port Hedland's most unlikely lady with a very personal message. I am who I am. If people don't like me, then they can move on. Do you consider yourself brave? Everybody I talk to seems to think I am. Uh, this is something I had to do.